Yeah. So it basically becomes a fucking brick wall that you have to cross. And you know, most people in third grade, they're usually about the same height. So if you lock arms with someone, that's essentially clotheslining someone. So when they run across and try to break through, they fucking, they fucking, someone, I don't remember who it was, but they fucking slapped into that roadblock. And they fucking fell on their fucking back of their heads. Like, like if you're playing Red Rover, you should wear fucking helmets. I'm not even kidding. But they fucking smacked their goddamn head on the back of the pavement. The back of their head on the pavement. That was fucking violent. I think they were bleeding. Possible concussion. Not sure. We never played Red Rover again. And keep in mind, this is like 2005 or 2006 that we were doing in the, this in. It's not like the goddamn 80s where people were like, fucking concussion? You got a concussion? Just, just walk it off, man. Walk it off. You'll be fine. Walk it off. Walk that off. You'll be fine. Oh my god, how did I know that I was going to continue to do the same shit over and over and over again on that side, even with different competitors to hit into that shit wall? Um... I'm getting very angry for no good reason right now. Except for these brake checking assholes, as always. Alright, well. Just as long as I just avoid everyone. Like, you take the long way around. That allows this car to build up speed. It's kind of like a slingshot sort of thing in, like, a place like Auto Club. But, you know, at the same time, it's just quicker to just take the inside. I'm going to sneeze at some point here. But, <coughs> <coughs> but, <coughs> And one more. <laughs> yeah, we never played Red Roper again after that. For good reasons. For good reasons. We never played Red Roper again. Yeah. Avoided that lawsuit. Pretty good there. Yeah, good job avoiding that lawsuit. Congratulations, old school. Maybe that's the reason that we left that school. I'm not sure. All I really had to do was survive one more year there after the one that I was completing when we left and I would have been out to the high school. Because that school, you went to third, fourth, and fifth grade at one school and then you went over to the high school. Which is junior high and do you see that? I got damage after going off the jump. What a bunch of shit. Yeah, which is junior high, sixth, seventh, and eighth. Plus high school, seventh and ninth. 10th, 11th, 12th. Yeah, so. Or maybe it was, maybe the echelons were different there, I'm not sure. I didn't finish it there, so how the fuck should I know? Um. I have no worries that these guys are gonna end up knocking themselves out and I'm gonna take the lead at some point. No worries whatsoever. See, exactly like that. Now Chuck Bolt is the only thing standing between me and victory. Yeah. I'm really glad, honestly, though. I mean, that was like 2005, 2006, not like the 80s. So, like, frickin' safety shit was coming into play like they took out the jungle gym that was fucking saddening like it was that was before i was like an adventurous child like i was freaking sheltered as fuck when i was um like five and six in that kind of age range like i was sheltered as fuck so i didn't like doing shit that was out of my comfort zone like i'd go on the swing sets like I go as high as I could off the swing sets and then jump off that shit. That'd be that'd be a good that'd be a good ass time. But too much of a pussy shit to actually go on top of a jungle gym. And I tried doing monkey bars, but like I was so physically like I was so physically not okay when I was young. Still, still not really. Like I was in shape at one point. Like, after high school, I was in half-decent shape. I could run a mile in seven and a half minutes, and that was, like, fucking... That's, like, gold medal in the Olympics for me. Like, beforehand, I couldn't even get under ten. That's how fucking out of shape I was. But I got it in, on, I got it in like, seven minutes and 22 seconds, and I felt like a fucking boss. Like, you know the track people? They ran out ahead of me, like, way at the start, and they were done in, like, five minutes. I was fucking, like, celebrating with ice cream after that seven and a half minutes but um not the point i was out of shape when i was um in second grade too and that's when we were had like the jungle gym monkey bars and like i got i like hung off the first of the monkey bars and like everyone behind me was like hurry up and i was like guys i literally cannot do this so i just sat there hanging and i didn't want to let go with one arm because if i let go with one arm and trying to move forward i'd probably lose all the grip in my other arm so i'd just be hanging there unable to do anything, and I'd just give up and drop down, and they'd be like, 
just going across like nothing, and I'd be like, fuck all of you. Fuck all of you. I'm going back to play Test Drive Your Destruction. And that's how I got to where we are today! Hey, Kamikaze Games! I'm dead. Unbelievable, this shit. How is it fucking perfect targeting shit like that? You see, any other track, I just would have backed out, and I just would have gone over to the, 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 the crossroads, and would have just been fine. But no, this one just has to have a bunch of shit in the middle. Just for no fucking reason, other than to have a lot of shit in the middle. I wish I looked at the standings before doing this race to know who I had to beat. But you know, the thing is, I never see blitzes in the... Um... I never ever see blitzes in this in this career mode. Like, maybe at Mankato at most, there'll be a couple of blitzes. I think there's one that you actually have to race to the event to at Mankato eventually. I'm probably wrong, but... I think there is a blitz that you have to race to the track, so... I'm in fourth. I don't know who's in second or first or whatever. But I'm in fourth. And there's only three cars ahead. And there's five, four cars ahead of me. So let's see, is it that guy? Okay. So now, I think it's Bill McDouchebag and Rich Friedman here. It's never the Polos. They're just literally exist to only be roadblocks to my success. And to give me damage. And to give me damage. Give me, give me, give me fuel, give me fire, give me damage, check it out. Uh. But yeah. Six years old. Absolutely the epitome of failure to get physically fit. How's that for alliteration? The physical representation, you know? Is it alliteration if you have PHs and Fs? Or is that something different. I think that is alliteration and I'm just being a facetious piece of shit right now. Um. Okay, gotta find some commentary. Quick, someone give me some commentary. I'm dead. Oh no, I avoided that. Cool. Someone hit Bill McGuff, please. He's a douchebag. He deserves to die. No one's hitting him. Someone, someone please. He's pulling out. He's even pulling out. I was catching up to him there for a while. But now he's pulling his ass out. Jesus. Oh! Oh! Double! Double hits! Oh! Oh! This is going to be a close finish! Okay, maybe not, but... Alright, once again. Daryl Franz and... I don't know who that is. But I won. So fuck it. Who cares? I won. Err. Yeah, whatever. All right, where are we sitting? Can't lose. Yeah, I just wish I could do this Eve for the rest of the game. 26% health. We fucking went through two Eves and got 2% damage. This is what I should have been doing from the start. Damn. All right, wow, okay. Holy moly macaroni, this is crazy. Demolition Derby, just quit out of it and win, no matter what. Ah, oh, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. And I guess HSS turned on for no reason at all. Cool. I can't access their website, so I have a feeling they got taken down for something. But I don't know. It still works. Maybe, possibly, I don't know. Actually, I know it does work, because Bing tr changes to Bing International whenever I use it now, so it obviously works, and I get a whole bunch of, I get, like, you know the best part about VPNs being set to, like, Japan is, like, the Japanese ads that you get on YouTube. Like, that is a reason to turn off ad block on YouTube, is if you have a VPN and you can get foreign commercials. Now that, that is a reason to turn off ad block. Like, I, I turn it off regardless on YouTube, but that is just, that just adds to the fun, dude. Good shit, man, good shit. And the screen's fucking up for some reason. Hopefully that doesn't continue. So, 55th, one more Eve and we're halfway. Oh my god. Alrighty then, wow. You know, through all the restarting of races and all that, we still managed to complete half this game without getting too much damage. I just had to get, I just had to restart every single race until it was a satisfactory outcome that I wanted. Um.
Ya Allah. <coughs> <coughs>